शिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमास्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणाल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सह नो नक्तु सह वीर कहवाई तेजस्वी नावधी समस्तमाशाई ओं शांत शांत शांति ओं यो ब्रह्मांडतापूर्वेदाश्च प्रशिणोति तस्म तगुं देवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुखुशुरो शरण प्रपद्ये ओं शांत शांत शांति आमनायांते संसिध्यमाध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिरुपास्मे संबंधादि पूर्व पूर्वेण दृष्टांत संगत्या इतम सो टेकिंग एग्जांपल टेकिंग क्यू फॉर एग्जांपल विद दि अर्लियर अधिकरण दि नेक्स्ट अधिकरण बिगिन्स एस टू संबंध अधिकरण एंड सूत्र इज अ पूर्वपक्ष सूत्र देर पूर्वपक्षी से संबंधादी संबंधादी सो वॉट वॉज डन अर्लियर एज टू दि उपासना अभेद वशून सामने एवं च अभेदा सो इन दैट सूत्र अधिकरण वी सॉ सामनाधिकरण बिकॉज ऑफ देर इज बिकॉज ऑफ अभेद अभेदा हेतु बिकॉज ऑफ उपास्य बीइंग नॉन डिफरेंट इन मल्टीपल शाखा देर फोर इन दि सेम शाखा ऑल्सो जस्ट लाइक इट इज अ सिंगल उपासना इन दि सेम शाखा ऑल्सो इफ देर आर सेपरेटेड उपासना देर गुण उपसंहारा शुड बी डन एज अ सिंगल उपासना वाय अभेदा बिकॉज ऑफ अभेदा जस्ट लाइक इन भिन्न शाखा सो दैट बिकम्स दि क्यू फॉर दि पूर्व पक्षी टू लुक एट अदर प्लेसेस वेर देर इज this uh, samanya so he says <coughs> in the shandilya vidya how ek vidyatva sambandhat yatha guna upasamharaha so sambandhat is what siddhantiya said said abhedat purva pakshi says ek vidyatva sambandhat because there is a ek vidya sambandha as seen in shandilya vidya so guna upasamhara was done upasana gunas are clubbed together evam anyatra api similarly elsewhere also where his example is satya vidya so there is a section where there is an upasana of satya vidya satya upasana satya vidya <coughs> there also we'll see in the vritti uh, as to what is the upasana so there is uh, one aditya upasana uh, which we already seen as to uh, surya mandala in surya mandala there is a purusha on whom there is an upasana and akshista upasana is there in the eye right eye there is purusha so there is an upasana there as well so nama two names are used there the akshigata purusha has one name and the aditya surya mandala gata purusha has another name so this name also should be brought together says the purva pakshi so satya vidyayam api anyatra api satya vidyayam api what nama dvaya guna upasamhara so nama ahar is one nama and aham is another nama ahar ahar literally means day ahan or uh, we'll see in the vritti uh, as well as the refutation as to what is to be done in this case purva pakshi is claiming that namas also should be clubbed together in a single upasana because of what hetu he says that sambandha what is a sambandha ek vidyatva sambandha 
both of them are a single upasana and that becomes the hetu for names also should be uh, names also to be clubbed together atra purva pakshe pratisthanam namadvay anushthanam siddhante yathashruta yathashrutya ekaika nam anushthanam iti phala veda so purva pakshi says pratisthanam meaning if you are doing upasana with the surya mandala purusha then there also you have to bring the aham nama which has been otherwise used for the akshigata purusha so that name should be clubbed together for the surya mandala stha purusha upasana <coughs> and then pratisthana meaning in the second case also when you are doing the akshigata purusha dhyana or upasana in that vidya also you should club together the aha aha ha nama from the surya mandala upasana surya mandala stha purusha upasana that should be brought together meaning the ahar nama and the ahan nama both should be used in both cases so that is the guna upasamhar nama dvay anushthanam anushthana the practice of your upasana should include both names in both cases so guna upasamhara सिद्धांते यथाश्रुत्यथाश्रुत्यक नाम अनुष्ठान फलभेद सो बेस्ड ऑन दि श्रुति एज इट इज हर्ड इन दि श्रुति हौ दि श्रुति मेन्शन अ सिंगल नेम इन सिंगल उपासना दैट कैंड ऑफ अ नेम शुड बी यूज यू शुड नॉट क्लब टूगेदर बोथ नेम्स दिस इज दि फलभेद बिटवीन दि पूर्व पक्षी एंड दि सिद्धांतिस पर्सपेंट बृहदारण्यके सत्य विद्यायाम आदिदैविक पुरुषस्य आदित्यस्य अहर इति एतन नाम ध्यानाय उपदिष्टम सो दि अहर नाम अहर इति नाम अहर इति नाम हैज बीन यूज्ड फॉर व्हाट इन दि सत्य विद्या दैट इज सीन इन बृहदारण्यके उपनिषद आदिदैविक पुरुष दिस पुरुष इज व्हाट आदिदैविक पुरुष ही इज That Purusha who is sita in Aditya Sura Mandala. So Aditya se ahar iti etat naam. Ahar is the name heard there, and it is taught as uh, taught for the purpose of dhyana. So naam dhyana ya upadistham. When you are doing the dhyana, this Adi Devi ka Purusha dhyana, then Aditya should be seen as Aditya Devata should be seen as what ahar ahar Purusha. अहर बाय द नेम अहर आध्यात्मिक से तो अक्षिपुरुष से अहम इति एतन नाम इति व्हेन आध्यात्मिक उपासना इज डन एस टू सीइंग दिस पुरुष इन द राइट आई दैट टाइम व्हाट शुड बी डन इज दैट देयर दिस पुरुष शुड बी सीन एज अक्षिगत पुरुष शुड बी शुड बी सीन एज व्हाट अहम अहम द नेम इज अहम तत्र किम अस्याम सत्य विद्यायां नाम्नोः व्यवस्थया ध्यानं कर्तव्यम् उत नामद्वयस्य प्रतिष्ठानं ध्यानम् इति संशये सो व्हेन देयर इज अ डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस सत्य विद्या व्हिच इज सीन इन बोथ केसेस आध्यात्मिक एंड आदिदैविक सो नाम्नोः व्यवस्थया ध्यानं कर्तव्यम् उत नामद्वयस्य प्रतिष्ठानं ध्यानम् इति संशये शुड दी नाम बी dealt with in the upasana the way or should be used in the upasana the way it is taught meaning separately in each upasana with separate names or should they be club together in both upasanas when such a doubt comes up yatha shandilya vidyam ek shakhayam vibhagena adhitayam ek vidyatva sambandhad anyonyam gunopasamahara purva muktah evam anyatra api satya vidyam bhavitum yuktam so anyatra api Similarly, this uh, this eka vidya to is a sambandha, sambandha, which sambandha is a mula. So due to which sambandha, just like in Shandilya vidya, there is a eka shakha yam vibhagena aditayam. In a single shakha, Shandilya vidya is seen in the pre-Upanishad as well as the Upanishad. So you see the same Shandilya vidya which is heard in both cases agni rahasya also and in brahad upanishad proper as well 
So in the Vajasaniya Shaka, how in Agni Rasya, which precedes the Upanishad, and in the Brihad Upanishad, which is also part of Vajasaniya Shaka, in a single Shaka, Shandilya Vidya is seen twice. And the Guna should have been combined, should be combined, says the Siddhanti. He has established this earlier. So Vibhagina Aditayam, even if they are separated, pre-Upanishad and in Upanishad, still Eka Vidya to Samanda. The Samanda is a single Vidya. Both are Shandilya Vidyas. Therefore, Anyonyam Gunopa Samahara Puro Muktaha. It has been stated by the Siddhanti earlier and established as to the Guna Upasamahara should be done. Both Upasana Guna should be clubbed together. Some are overlapping, which are not overlapping, should be brought from the second section into the first section and from the first section into the second section. So you should club together the Gunas. Similarly, elsewhere also you should do that, says the Puro Pakshi. So Satya Vidya is a single Satya Vidya. So Satya Vidya and Bhavitum Yuktam Evam. In this manner, the Guna Upasamhara should be done even in Satya Vidya. Why? Eka Vidya to Sambandhat. Because both are a single Vidya. Iti Puro Paksha. This is the Puro Paksha Sutra. He says that Guna Upasamhara should be done. And what is the Guna here? Nama is the Guna. The name should be clubbed together. So this is the Siddhanti answer. Siddhantastu Nava Visheshat. Nava Visheshat. Nava Visheshat. He says, no, it should not be done. Why? Visheshat, the Guna Upasamhara should not be done because Nama is a Vishesha. Name is a specific naming. Name is actually used to separate out the Vidya. Therefore, two different names have been used. You cannot use both the names which do not have a single meaning also. The meaning is not important there. In the case of name, the meaning is not really important. So, name is only to call out or to address something. Therefore, this name being different and meaning not being important in dhyana, therefore, it is not a mantra where, you know, you have to understand. It is a name in which, a name which has been given to the Adidaivika Purusha and Adhyatmika Purusha. So, these names have been given to two different Purushas. Whether there is Aikya between them later or not is a different story. That analysis is not part of the Vidya there. In the Upasana, when you are doing the Upasana as ordained, that time the same name which has been ordained should be used. Just like in Dhyana also, Vishnu Sahasranama Dhyana, the Dhyana should be done the way it is given in the Vishnu Sahasranama, not the way it is given elsewhere. So, particular name is used even in... Uh, Bhagavad Gita, you see, the name which has been used to address Bhagavan Krishna by Arjuna, the same name should be used in the chanting in that shloka. You cannot say that, okay, Krishna is one and the same. Therefore, you can use, you know, is Vishnu avatar or Narayana avatar. So, you cannot just use any name. In chanting, the way you use, it's a very, you know, simple example. With that also, you see, the name cannot be interchanged. There is a particular purpose which can be seen when you Look at the meaning in the Bhashya Ityadi. In the Gita Vyakya or Bhashya, you can see why Arjuna used a particular name, why Bhagavan Krishna used a particular name to address Arjuna in that shloka, in that context. So that is a commentary which explains out of so many names why a particular name has been used. So name has some Mahatta in that context that will be seen in the Vyakya. However, just because the interpretation is of that entity who is common across names does not mean that the names can be interchanged. Similarly, in Dhyana also, when a Dhyana has been ordered in a particular manner, in that name you have to address or see because you are not calling out really. It is not a Sambodhana. But in that name you should see the person, that Purusha. Just like any person, you see a particular person with a particular name. Similarly, the Purusha who is Adhyatmika is seen with the Aham Nama and the Adhidaivika Purusha is seen with the Ahar Nama. You cannot mix them. So why Visheshat? Nava Visheshat. So Nava Visheshat, what is the, it's a very simple uh, vritti there. 
न एव उभयो हो उभयत्र उपसंहार न एव सो डेफिनेटली वन शुड नॉट क्लम्प टुगेदर बोथ नेम्स इन दी उपासना कुतः विशेषात बिकॉज देर इज पर्टिक्युलर स्पेसिफिकेशन देर फोर दीज टू शुड बी केप्ट सेपरेट तस्य अहर इति तस्य अहम इति च आयतन विशेष व्यपाश्रेण एव उपनिषद विशेषोपदेशात बिकॉज देर इज अ पर्टिक्युलर टीचिंग अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक टीचिंग देर उपनिषद उपनिषद इज उपनिषद इज रहस्यम एंड रहस्यम इज दिस उपनिषद डज नॉट मीन दी उपनिषद वे वी नो एज टू विद्या ज्ञान कांड बट उपनिषद हेज दी मीन मीनिंग ऑफ रहस्य एंड दैट रहस्य इज वॉट विद्या विच विद्या उपासना विद्या ऑल्सो उपासना इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज उपनिषद बाय एक्सटेंशन बिकॉज इट इज रहस्य सो रहस्य इज यूज फॉर बोथ दी उपासना एज वेल एज दी ज्ञान कांड गत ज्ञान ऑल्सो विद्या ऑल्सो एंड विद्या इज ऑल्सो कॉमन नेम विच इज यूज फॉर कॉमन पद यूज टू डिस्क्राइब उपासना एज वेल एज ज्ञान एंड उपनिषद शब्द ऑल्सो इज यूज इन बोथ सेंसेस हियर बिकॉज इट हैज दी सेंस ऑफ रहस्य सो तस्य अहर इति पर्टिकुलर नेम हैज बीन अहर इति विशेष दैट विशेष इज देयर फॉर दी आदित्य गत पुरुष इन दैट ध्यान एंड तस्य अहम इति इज ए आध्यात्मिक अक्षिगत पुरुष नाम अहम इति सो देयर फॉर तस्य अहर इति तस्य अहम इति बोथ आर सेपरेटेड आउट विथ ए विशेष नाम एंड देयर फॉर तस्य अहर इति तस्य अहम इति च आयतन विशेष व्यपदेश व्यपाश्रयण सो आयतन विशेष इज देयर देयर इज अधिकरण विच इज सेपरेटेड आउट एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट अधिकरण नेम इज गिवन so now if you have to look at the meaning also if we try to understand the meaning of course meaning should be understood with the bhashya under that upasana however if we just look at the dictionary meaning what is ahar ahar means day so surya who causes day he is himself seen as day he is the one who causes with his presence or absence in a particular area he makes the day and absence of day possible therefore he is seen as day one who creates the day rather therefore he is called as ahar whereas this individual in the adhyatmik dhyana the purusha is an individual therefore who is seen as i aham aham is i not one who is present in the akshi akshin akshin is i e y e i one who is present there is an individual therefore he is called i the capital alphabet letter i so one who is in the i is called as i aham as an individual so one who is individualized in the adhyatmika purusha he is seen as aham a singular identified i and the other purusha who is in adi devika who creates the day is seen as ahar ahar with the ahar nama he is called as the day if you have to take the meaning so therefore you see the day and the or the creator of the day as though is not same as aham an individual jeeva so you can see the difference there also you cannot club together there is vishesha so ayatana vishesha is there which adhikaranas are different and thereby uh, ayatana vishesha vyapashrena by taking resort to such kind of an adhisthana the adhikarana where this purusha is to be seen and nobody will agree that uh, that the surya mandala and the individuals i are same individuals uh, the chakshu so the chakshu gata purusha and aditya gata purusha may finally be one but the adhisthana being different in dhyana therefore the one who is given a particular name is different from the other who is given the particular name because of the sthana ayatana being different and thereby upanishadaha vishesha upadeshad there has to be a difference maintained kincha moreover what darshayati cha darshayati cha further what the shruti also shows that shows that there is sthana bheda and therefore upasamahara should not be done 
हौ डू विद्यांतरे हिण्य श्मश्रूदि आदिपुरुष अक्षिपुरुषे अति दिशति नाउ दिस पुरुष हू इज सीन इन दि आदित्य मंडल इन द उपासना इन दैट सेक्शन दि पुरुष इज डिस्क्राइब हाउ इज इट डिस्क्राइब ही इज डिस्क्राइब एज वॉट हिण्य श्मश्रू वी हेव सीन दिस इत्यादि so one who has a golden mustache one who has a golden beard has a golden aura you all all these kind of golden colored uh, appearances described and this this is the manner of the upasana how this upasana should be done that purusha who is adi daivika in the surya mandala in that solar disk you have to imagine the purusha to be of the golden hue has a golden mustache has golden beard etc so this is an this is a kalpana which is prescribed vidyantare so this is a different vidya in a different vidya it has been taught in a different upasana different from the which upasana from the akshigata purusha upasana when an individual is see individual sees the individual in the eye so in the upasana where the chakshugata purusha has to be seen what about the appearance of the chakshugata purusha how does the chakshugata purusha look like now if you see the upasana where the adityagata purusha is described if it is same as the akshigata purusha or chakshugata upasana then there is no atidesha needed we have seen what is ati desha so prakriti vat vikruti kartavya in karma kanda we see such kind of as uh, an ati desha meaning what is there in one particular karma that is extended to the other where it is not described so something which is not described sometimes it is extended from the other so when a rule is not given then if it is a prakriti yaga then in vikruti yaga automatically there is extension there is no specific mention needed <clears throat> however when there is no prakriti vikruti kind of sambandha and some extension is given then it is given shabdatah shruti itself will say you do it in this manner dharma shastra extension is there now this atidesha is a particular thing so that means that other thing should not be brought together that will separate the karma the atidesha is not in the same karma the atidesha is always in a different karma you have to extend one process or procedure part of a procedure or anga from one karma to the other other karma so it will become the anga in the second karma so there is a separation in karma we have seen this in the artha sangra which is still uh, pending to be resumed to be done uh, if at all so in that kind of a hanging still it is but we have seen this particular part as to atiresha we know what is atiresha so vidyantare hiranya smashru ityadina aditya purushasya roopa muktva having stated what the roopa in which manner dhyana should be done what is the form of this purusha in the आदित्य मंडला ही इज हिरण्य श्रू इत्यादि आदित्य पुरुष दिस आदित्य पुरुष हेज बीन डिस्क्राइब एंड हेविंग डिस्क्राइब रूप मुक्त आदित्य पुरुष से तदूप अक्षिपुरुषे अतिशति देन दि श्रुति वेन इट कम्स टू दि आध्यात्मिक उपासना विच इज सपरेट फ्रॉम दि आदिदेविक उपासना वॉट डज इट से इट से तदूप अक्षिपुरुषे अतिशति इन दि अक्षिपुरुष दि अक्षिगत पुरुष चक्षुर्गत पुरुष दैट पुरुष हेज दि सेम रूप एज दि पुरुष हु इज बीन डिस्क्राइब इन दि आदिदेविक उपासना इन दि आध्यात्मिक उपासना दि चक्षुगत पुरुष चक्षुर्गत पुरुष हेज दि सेम रूप एज दि रूप ऑफ दि आदिदेविक पुरुष हु इज आदित्य suryagata this is what the shruti does now if the upasana is one where the nama should also be mixed then rupa should anyway be mixed 
it's a thing if it is eka vidyatva sambandha as claimed by the puro bakshi so if it is an eka vidyatva sambandha between the adhi daivika and adhyatmika upasana the satya vidya then shruti would not do ati desha so this is the arthapatti pramana otherwise not possible anyatha anugopatti so tasya etas tasya etasya tadeva roopam yad amushya roopam iti so elsewhere where do you see this you see this in chandogya so in chandogya you see tasya etasya tasya etasya who is that akshigata purusha one who is there in the individual i tadeva roopam that is the exact form which form that hiranyash mashru etc how tadeva roopam yad amushya roopam which is that akshigata ada shabda has been used amushya is the shashti एक वचन ऑफ अदस शब्द सो अमुष्य रूपम ऑफ दैट सूर्यगत आदित्य गत पुरुष दैट आदित्य पुरुष रूप वट एवर हेज बीन डिस्क्राइब दैट वेरी रूप इज देर फॉर दिस इंडिविजुअल अक्षिगत पुरुष सोयम अतिदेश विद्यास्थले स्थान भेदात्म उपसंहार दर्शयति सो ayam atidesha saha ayam atidesha that atidesha that extension the mantra which says that the roop of this particular uh, chakshurgata purusha is same as the akshigata purusha is same as what as the aditya gata purusha that atidesha that extension itself shows vidya sthale in this vidya you have to extend that roop of from another vidya that shows sthana bheda no upasamhara because of the sthana bheda because of one being in the surya mandala sthana and another being in the akshi sthana of the individual upasamhara should not be done na upasamhara upasamhara na kartavya iti darshayati shruti itself shows shabda tha it doesn't show but by pramana you can know based on the shruti vakya you can infer as to the upasamhara should not be done थिंग it is not even saying it is a single upasana it is not saying it is not a single upasana then mimamsa can be done and you can decide whether it is eka vidyatva sambandha or not but when shruti is specifically doing atidesha atidesha being possible only across vidyas here in this case therefore they have to be taken as separate vidyas guna upasamara cannot be done just because shruti is doing atidesha so by if shruti is extending one thing from one uh, one upasana to the other that means that both vidyas cannot be one otherwise there is no extension needed at all itharatha ayam atidesha nirartaka it would be meaningless to meaningless for the shruti to give a particular guna which is roopa to be extended in the other upasana athaha namno yavastha iti siddham therefore this name the the vyavastha of the name should be maintained where the ahar nama has been mentioned there ahar nama should be used where the aham nama is used there ahan nama should be used it is siddham this is the conclusion of the siddhanti the purva pakshi has been countered thereby the adhikarana is over now the next adhikarana samrutty adhikarana comes up with the introduction in the vritti as to पूर्वोक्त न्याय अतिशति नाउ व्हाट द न्याय हैज बीन स्टेटेड बाय द सिद्धांति दैट इज बीइंग एक्सटेंडेड टू सम अदर सेक्शन सम अदर सेक्शन इन सम अदर श्रुति एंड देयर बाय समृद्धि अधिकरण कम्स अप समृद्धि इत्यादि गुणाजार देयर वेदर दिस शुड बी व्याप्ति समृद्धि समृद्धि मीन समृद्धि सम्यक विभर्ति इति समृद्धि सो समे विभर्ति द नरिशमेंट Uh, bibarti can be it is kartari if you see then it is what uh, samruti is kartari would be nourishes nourishes well one who nourishes well 
in bhave uh, utpatti it will be nourishment so that which is well nourish uh, the what the nourishment which is proper very well that kind of a thing is bhave and in karmani what will it mean if you see karmani then it will be that which is well nourished so this is uh, just to explain the word samruti i am not saying that uh, all three meanings apply or anything i am just explaining the word samruti samruti adhikarana and vyapti vyapti adhikarana vyapti means extension so in bhave it will mean just the you know expansion or the vyapaka tattva there so that is vyapti not vyapaka tattva this expansion by bhave so that adhikarana comes up now as to the first sutra there is samruti dyu vyaptya pichatah samruti dyu vyaptya pichatah chatah so i should say chatah the sutra so samruti samruti dyu vyapti api cha atah so that is padacheda samruti dyu vyapti is a single word and api cha atah so samruti dyu vyaptya pichatah समृति ध्यु व्याप्ति चातः दैट इज सूत्र व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मींस अतश्च अतः देयरफॉर एंड देयरफॉर अतः च एंड देयरफॉर व्हाट अतः एव एंड देयरफॉर इटसेल्फ दिस अतिदेशा देयरफॉर मीनी जस्ट द वे इट हैज बीन सीन अर्लियर एज टू विशेषण विशेष हैज केप्ट द व्यवस्था एज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द श्रुति the nama vyavastha should be kept as described in the shruti similarly so to atah cha and therefore also what indeed namno riva like the names namno riva vyavasthapaka sthana visheshat eva so atah cha means what atah eva and therefore indeed what is that and therefore just like there is vyavasthapaka sthana vishesha which leads to the uh, rather the names used in a particular sthana are to be kept in those particular upasanas similarly what is that samruti dyu vyapti this samruti meaning is virya samruti dyu is the vriddhi swarga vyapti dyu vyapti is swarga vyapti so samruti is what वीर्य वृद्धि वीर्य वृद्धि इज द मीनिंग ऑफ समृति विच इज बेसिकली और वृद्धि इज नरिशिंग सो दृधातु इज इन देंस ऑफ वॉट धारण पोषण यो हो सो धारणा मीनिंग कैन ऑल्सो बी देर एंड पोषण मीनिंग कैन ऑल्सो बी देर पोषण इज नरिशमेंट धारणा इज टू होल्ड टुगेदर और टू बिकम एन आधार to give adhara is also the meaning of the dhatu so samruti means that and then dyu is swarga vyapti is expansion so vyapti what is that swarga vyapti parvejan swarga swarga parvejan of swarga in swarga so that kind of a meaning is there we'll see more details exact meaning we'll see in the vritti and what does it mean there then apicha अभी च उपसंहर्त न उपसंहर्तव्य उपसंहार ऑफ गुण शुड नॉट बी डन सो वीर वृद्धि स्वर्ग व्याप्ति दट इज समृति दिव व्याप्ति दीज ऑल्सो शुड नॉट बी क्लब टुगेदर दे शुड बी केप्ट सेपरेट वेर वील सी दैट इन दि वृत्ति अतिदेश न पृथक संगत्यपेक्षा सिंस इट इज एन एक्सटेन्शन ऑफ वॉट हेज ऑलरेडी बीन Use earlier in the Puro Pakshi's perspective as well as in the Siddhanti's perspective, there is no separate objection or Sangati showing some example or counter example needed. There is nothing of the sort. There is only extension. So the earlier introduction holds good. There is no separate Sangati needed. Atra Puro Pakshi Vidya Bhedasya Guna Vyavastha Pakatva Siddhi Siddhante Tatsiddhiriti Phala Bheda. So what is the difference in Puro Pakshi's perspective and Siddhanti's? पूर्व पक्षी से विद्याभेद से गुण व्यवस्थापक असिद्धि दिस गुण व्यवस्था इन टू डिफरेंट विद्यास देर बीइंग टू डिफरेंट विद्यास एंड देर फोर गुण व्यवस्थापक 
meaning the gunas in each upasana should be kept limited to that upasana and therefore it should not be clubbed together across upasanas that is not the case it is not established at all <coughs> so asiddhi <coughs> it is not proven it cannot be proven says the purva pakshi and therefore he says that with meaning his thinking is eka vidyatva sambandha is there in the following upasanas also therefore guna upasamahara should be done he is saying that they are not established as separate upasanas vidyabhedasya guna vyavasthapakatva asiddhi so vidyabheda leading to gunas remaining separate this is not proven siddhante tat siddhirti phalaveda no it can be proven and it has been established by us says the siddhanti as to guna should be kept separate across these two because they are two separate vidyas so where is this ranayaniyanam khileshu pathyate so samni the in the samaveda there is a ranayaniya shaka i had mentioned this earlier when i was just saying that this brihat shaka when i say brihat shaka there are various shakas but brihat where it occurs so where does brihat occurs brihat occurs in two cases Uh, in in two uh, uh, you know recensions which are retained now so madhyandina and then kanva or kanva shaka there are two different uh, pathas of shukla yajurveda uh, in uh, rather two uh, shakas where this brihat occurs <coughs> so there is a patha veda as well some words are also different not only swara veda but patha veda is also there ranayaniya shaka like many shakas rana in one shaka in, in fact sama is very rare sama shakas have not been retained well they are uh, almost all, almost everything i think there are only one or two shakas which are very rare which have been retained in a very limited manner they are trying to revive it many are trying to revive it so sama shaka is this rana in shaka is one shaka which has been retained however anyway there are many sama shakas out of which two are remaining Uh, today in some manner so ranayaniya naam samni khileshu patyate and sama is difficult because there are you know maybe some 20 or the different swaras are there and it has to be sung i think 20 swaras is there in some rigveda also some parts it is there so ranayaniya naam samni khileshu patyate so there are many swaras there it has to be sung so all this is difficult all the more so today i mean so khileshu patyate this khila khila is basically uh, parishishtam so khila is that section which is what remains as to what vidhi nisheda shunya some of these khilas are you know they are uh, parts which are borrowed from the other shaka so somewhere it is said that uh, uh, in one shaka the other shaka gata uh, shri sukta ityadi are uh, are khilas so somewhere they are seen as khila so khila is parishishta which is basically vidhi nisheda shunya there is no vidhi or nisheda so mostly they are stuti roopa usually they are stuti roopa uh, there is no uh, prescription as to you have to do this anything of that sort it is a stuti roopa of course if you do it you will get punya that's a different story everything i mean any any veda bhaga which is chanted will result in adrushta punya सो राणायनिया खिलेशु पठ्य है इन दट खिला पार्ट ऑफ दि साम वेदा राणायन राणायनीय शाखा देर वॉट इज चैंटेड देर ब्रह्म ज्येष्ठा वीर संभृता ब्रह्म ज्येष्ठ दिवम आतता सो देर यू हियर दिस ब्रह्म ज्येष्ठा वीर संभृता दिस इज छांद प्रयोग ज्येष्ठा ब्रह्म ज्येष्ठा इज छांद प्रयोग फॉर ब्रह्म ज्येष्ठा so because samrutani has been used there it's a napunsaka linga shabda in uh, vedas it has been used in pullinga so brahma jeshtha if you do pada cheda virya samrutani all these are basically what they are uh, if you look at it these are uh, this is how the mantra is in pranayani shakha and brahma jeshtam divam atatana this is the mantra there so there so i think uh, brahma uh, there is a part missing there i'm so, sorry brahma so there should be a brahma here 
and just looking at the mantra there, Brahma Jeshta Virya Samrutani Brahma Gre. So there is a Brahma Gre Jeshtam Dio Mahatatana. It has to be changed there. <coughs> so there is a mantra like that as to the uh, in the Khilapata, the Vijinesha the Shunya Khilapata of the Sam Shaka, there is a Brahma Jeshta. So Jeshta, Jeshta is Karna. Brahma is Jeshta for which Samruta. So what is that? This among all the all the uh, Adharas, all the Adharas or all those sources of nourishment if you look at it. In Kartari if you look at it. Brahma is the Highest or Brahma is a Karana rather. Jeshta can also be seen as Karana, highest also and Karana also. So Karana is always superior to the Karya as well. In that meaning also, Brahma is Jeshta Karana for which. So for that Samruta and what is the Samruta actually if you, if you look at it, which gives Adhara to everything that is Akasha. So Akasha also for which Akasha also Brahma is Karana and Brahma Jeshtam Deva Matatana Brahma Gre. So, sorry, Brahma Gre there, Brahma Gre. So, even before these Devatas, Brahma Itya Devatas, before them also, for their Utpatti also, and Anything that you find really before them, Purva, all of these, what was there? The one which is the Divam Atatana. Divam Atatana Diva means the Swarga. So one is pervasive in Swarga also. So the one who this Brahma Jeshtam Divam Atatana, this Jeshta Brahma Gre. So there, Brahma Gre is their word that. So even before these. Devatas were there in Svargaloka, this Tattva that is Vyapta. So these kind of Gunas are there in that mantra, Upasana there. Tatra Shuyamanam Samruti Vyaptyadikam, this Samruti here and Atatana shows the Vyapti there. So this Samruti which shows the Adhara and nourishment kind of a Guna and the Diva, diva Matatana, there it shows the Vyapti. So, Samruti Diva Vyapti, Diva Matana is Diva Vyapti also it shows. So, Tatra Shriyamanam, which is heard there in the Sam, Sama Mantra, Samruti Vyapti Adikam, Diva Vyapti, Samruti, all these Gunas, Tadi Upanishad Vihita Shandilyadi Brahma Vidyasu Upasamhartavyam Navaiti Sandhe. Upasamhartyavyam iti purva pakshaha. So the, the virya samruti, divyapti, all of these vibhutis of Brahma. So Brahma is one who was before all of this. He is a karana for that which is the karana for everything. It is a karana for akasha. All pervasive in the swarga. So all these vibhutis of Brahma should they be clubbed together elsewhere, meaning that which is heard in the Sama Veda Upanishad? So, should these be clubbed together with Brahma Vibhuti seen in the Shandilya Vidya, etc.? Shandilya Vidya we already seen earlier in the Vajasane Shaka. So, the Sama Shaka, Ranayani Shaka. Brahma Vibhutis, should they be extended to the Brahma Vibhutis described in the Vajasaniya Shaka? Should they be clubbed together in Shandilya Vidya there? And vice versa, of course. One way it is explained, you have to assume vice, vice versa also. If they become one Upasana, then you have to club together and then club together both ways. Tatra Shuryamana Samruti Vyaptya Dikam Tadiya Upanishad Tadiya Upanishad Vihita Shandilya Vidyadi Brahma Vidyatu Vidyasu Upasamhartavyam Nava Iti Sandehe. 
when a doubt is there, whether both ways there should be clubbing together of these Brahma Vibhutis described across Shakhas. Upasamhartyam, Upasamhartavyam iti Purva Paksha. Purva Pakshi says that they should be clubbed together. They are one Vidya. Siddhantastu. However, Siddhanta is Virya Samrutani iti ya Virya Samruti hi, Virya Samruti hi, ya cha Deva Matatana ha iti Yuloka Vyapti hi, Tayoho Samahara ha Samruti Yuvyapti. So, first the, uh, the Samasa has been explained. Tayoho Samahara is Samahara Dvandva. So, Samahara Dvandva goes in Napunsaka Eka Vachana. So, that is Samruti Yuvyapti. That you see here. Samruti Yuvyapti is a separate Pada in the Sutra. It is a Samasa. It is a Samahara Dvandva Samasa in neuter, in singular. And what is the meaning? Virya Samrutani. Itiya Virya Samruti. So this is the mantra Virya Samrutani. This part Virya Samrutani. That is showing Virya Samruti. The Vridhi. What is the meaning? Virya Samruti. The growth of Virya. That has been discussed as one part. Then Yacha Dhyomatatanaha iti Dhyuloka Vyapti. So the all pervasiveness of Brahma, that is the Vibhuti described, so is pervading. Brahma is Paramatma is pervading what? Swarga also. That is ex explained by Dhyomatatanaha. That is the meaning. Dhyuloka Vyapti is the meaning. The combination of them in Pada will be Samruti Dhyuvyapti. In a Samasa, in a single Pada. So this is the Samahara Dvandva and meaning is what? Virya Samruti, Samruddhi and Dhyuloka Vyapti. That is the meaning. Kutaha. Now he says, and uh, sorry, Tadapi na Upasamhartavyam. That should not be clubbed together at all. He says, in fact, when the these gunas should not be mixed together. Why? Because the way names are different, these vibhutis are also different. Kutaha Atascha Atayeva Namno Riva Vyavasthapaka just because because the sthanas cannot be mixed up just like the names cannot be mixed up because of the sthanas being different similarly here sthanas being different the gunas cannot be mixed up so the way in the Purva Adhikarana, it was explained as to Sthana Vishesha will keep the Nama Vishesha also. Similarly here, Sthana Vishesha will keep the Vibhuti Vishesha also separate. And therefore, you should not club them together. Atascha, Atayeva, Namunoriva, Vyavasthapaka, Sthana Vishesha, Deva. Because in the Upasana, particular Sthana has been mentioned where this Purusha has been seen. Similarly, the name that was kept separate due to this reason. Tasmata, similarly, here also you should not mix up the gunas because sthanas are different. Tasmat samrutyadi guna vishishtam upasana nantaram tatra videyam iti siddham. Tasma samrutyadi guna vishishtam upasana nantaram. Upasana nantaram is what? Upasana, uh, uh, anya upasana, uh, anyat upasanam, upasana nantaram. Or Anya Upasana in Strilinga, if you see, then that is Upasana Antaram. Different Upasana. Which is that different? So, Tasmat Samrutyadi Guna Vishishtam Upasanam is Anyata. That's what it means. Meaning, the Brahma Vibhutis which are described, they are different in different sthanas. You cannot, for example, what is possible in a particular loka cannot be brought together in a different loka and mixed together. Those vibhutis which are possible in one loka cannot be there in another loka. What vibhutis are possible in one place will, poss will be possible only in that place. Sthana Vishesha will be there. This sthana will not allow other vibhutis to be manifest in that loka, in that sthana. Just take an example in the, let's say, the uh, uh, Surya shine, the sign of the uh, shine of the Surya, if you are seeing that kind of a shine in the eye, the eye will, okay, the eye cannot have, the sthana of the eye 
you can have the luster which is similar to the luster of the Surya sun. But just imagine, I'm not saying this is the guna, just to explain the point. The stana, what kind of a, what kind of heat and what kind of luster is possible in Surya Mandala, definitely that even, even thinkable percentage of that is not possible in the eye, let alone 100%. Why? Because the vibhuti cannot be same, the, it will burn the eye. Had there really been such a sign, it would burn burn the complete person, would burn the complete loka itself, let alone the person or the eye. So what is being seen as the vibhuti there in that sthana is different from the vibhuti here in this sthana. Of course, there is jyoti in both places, but amplitude of the jyoti is different. The quantity and uh, the qualitatively it may be same but quantitatively quantitatively you cannot call it same so just like that you cannot mix up gunas across the vibhutis across the lokas at all sthanas are different and sthana being different you cannot mix up the vibhutis also tasma samrutyadi guna vishishtam upasana antaram that upasana where samruti ityadi gunas are there as specific ones mentioned they are a separate they make it a separate upasana. I mean, those gunas are there in which upasana? That upasana is a different upasana from the shandilya vidya itya. Tatra vidheyam iti siddham. So, tatra there, khileshu. Tatra kutra khileshu vidheyam. In the khila part there, it is ordained as to this is the upasana. So, those vibhutis should be kept there itself. The example there is actually what is the argument made is that if you look at it, kutrachit atma vare drashtavya ityatra. There, Atma Vare Drashtavya, there Vidhi is heard, Drashtavya Vidhi is there. But you have to analyze just because uh, as we have seen earlier, Latlakara is there but Lat can be seen as Vidhiling. Whereas Vidhiling can also be seen as Lat, meaning what? Where there is Vidhi, Avidhi can be seen and where there is Avidhi, Vidhi can be seen. What is not prescribed with a Lakara can also be seen as a prescription. And what is not what is a prescription can also be seen as not possible to be a prescription at all. For example, Atma Vare Drashtavya, that Drashtavya is a Tavya Pratya. Tavya Pratya is the meaning of Vidhiling. So there Vidhi should be seen literally. Literally there is a Vidhi. So even if literally there is a Vidhi, because it is impossible that Vidhi Pratya Pi Avidhi, Tavya Iti Vidhi Pratya Pi Avidhi. Why is it not a Vidhi? Because Atma Vare Drashtavya, Shrotavya Mantavya, Nididhyasatavya, there, that Vidhi is not possible. In Jnana, there is no Vidhi possible. Jnana Sya Vastu Tantra Tvata. Because Jnana is Vastu Tantra, it is dependent on the Vastu itself. You cannot have a different kind of a Jnana. That Jnana is Brahma. We have seen this example earlier. If the Shruti tells you, or anyone, anyone an Apta Purusha tells you, you respect someone, and that person orders. What does he order? He says, see this green leaf as red. The, the greenness that you see cannot be seen as redness at all. Why? Because it is dependent on the vastu. The leaf itself is green. The leaf's guna is based on the leaf itself. So it is dependent on the vastu. Tantra is dependency. That dependency is on the vastu. It is not your choice at all. Whereas in karma, you have a choice. Shruti can tell you, do this karma, there you have a choice. But in Jnana, Shruti cannot ordain. It cannot say, see the Atma. If it says, you see the Atma, you have Atma Jnana. What does it mean? Atma Vichara Kartavya. The Vidhi can be there in the Vichara. You do the Vichara. But Vidhi cannot be in Jnana. Jnana takes place based on the Vastu. When it is understood well, then Jnana is in keeping with the Vastu. So, Atma should be understood as Atma, revealed by the Shruti. But Shruti cannot tell you that you have to have this Jnana. Because Shruti cannot tell you in Jnana there cannot be Vidhi. So in Vichara there can be Vidhi and we have seen this in Brahma Sutra's first uh, Sutra also. So in first Sutra uh, we have seen this Athato Brahma Jijnasa. So that Jijnasa is Jnatum Icha. In Icha there cannot be Vidhi. You cannot have, you know, have this Icha. Icha takes place. You cannot have Vidhi in Icha. Similarly, you cannot have Vidhi in Jnana also. So, the meaning we have seen there in, uh, uh, in the uh, Adhyasa Bhashya also we have seen elaborately 
as to there cannot be a vidhi in the jnana, but it is a vidhi. Because Bhagavan Sutra, ka, uh, Bhagavan Bhashyakara adds in Sutra, he says, Kartavya Pada. Kartavya Jijnyasa Kartavya. Kartavya iti adhyatav, uh, adhyartavya. So, the adhyahara should be done. You should add that word to make the vritti. And Kartavyata is a vidhi. So, where is the vidhi? Vidhi is not in the Ichcha. Bhamati Kara says that there is no vidhi possible at all. So, he sets aside Bhagavan Bhashyakara's uh, Kartavya Shabda. He says it is not needed here. Whereas in Vivarna, Kartavyata is seen. But Kartavyata is not in Ichcha or Jnana because of its being impossible. It is possible only in Vichara. So, Vichara is the Lakshana done there. So, in, in Vichara there is Vidhi. Similarly, here also Tathaiva Atra api, Avidhi Pratyya api, Vidhi Reva. So, the flip side is that where there is no Vidhi, Latlakara can be used and it can be still be in the meaning of Vidhiling in the Shastra. So, here also when you look at it, these Vidhis are separate. Just like that, the analysis is very specific to the section. If you see gunas have been mentioned, you have to see it in this manner. So across lokas you cannot mix up, across tanas you can, cannot mix up. The vibhutis will remain separate and as a separate upasana. Oh, I forgot that I, I didn't look at the time. Uh, I overshot by a lot and then I barely have any time left for the next part. I will stop here. Amna and Tegsam Siddham Adi Madhyant or Jitam Ananda Ghanama Purnam Atma Jyoti Upasmahe Namaste Dhanyavada. Then you are there.